What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Daisy for Armor 2 through Steam. Why exactly would you want to do this? Well, Armor and Daisy have been on sale in the Humble Bundle recently, and of course, if you want to go back and have the original experience in Armor 2, then this guide is going to help you get there. So, first of all, you'll need Armor 2 and Operation Arrowhead. Optionally, you can also have Armor 2 British Armed Forces and Armor 2 Private Military Company. Of course, the only two that you really need is Armor 2 and Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. You can get these all through a bundle or through Steam. And if this is the first time that you've downloaded and installed these games, make sure to close Steam completely by hitting Steam and then Exit. Then when you're launching up Steam again, make sure to right click on the actual icon, More, and click Run as Admin. Note that you only have to do this the first time that you're launching up the Armour games, just to make sure that absolutely nothing goes wrong. So, seeming though this is the first time I'm running any of these Armour 2 games on this install of Windows, I've restarted Steam as Admin. This just helps prevent issues. So, first of all, I'm going to open up Armour 2 and get to the main menu. Then, Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead, for all of the battle eye pop-ups that I get, I simply just click OK, Next or Install when prompted to make sure that the anti-cheat is properly installed and working. Main menu, quit. Then I'll open up Armour 2 British Armed Forces, get to the main menu and quit. And Armour 2 Private Military Company, main menu and then quit. And there we go. A couple of times you probably saw some error pop up on your screen about failed to start, invalid key, something or other, but just ignoring all of those errors and opening up Armour 2, then Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead, then British Armed Forces, and then Private Military Company in that order, got rid of all of those issues. And of course, you might have had one of those issues pop up if you were simply going to go ahead and start up Day Z from the get go. Of course, you don't need these other two, you just need Armour 2 and Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead installed and working as such. So now that we've got to the main menu for all of these mods, what exactly do we need to do? Well, if you don't already see Armour 2 Daisy mod in your Steam inventory, simply head across to the Store tab at the very top of Steam. Then when we get to the Store page, search for Armour 2 Daisy as such, and then we'll look for Armour 2 Daisy mod. On the right hand side, I'll uncheck hide items in my library and we can see Armour 2 Daisy mod over here. Clicking it, we get taken to this page over here. And of course, all you need to do is simply click play game or install, buy, etc, etc. This is a free mod and as you can see, it requires both Armour 2 and Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead for the best experience, including high detail textures and more. Then make sure to purchase the complete collection and do what we did earlier, which was opening up those other DLCs. With all of that aside, I'll simply click play game, next, and I'll go ahead and download and install the Daisy mod. Now we simply just have to wait for this to finish. While this is downloading, I'll quickly run through something else. One of the things that we want to do is make sure that none of these Armour 2 installations over here are on the beta branch. If one of these is on the beta branch, then it may cause issues that prevent you getting into servers. Simply go through every Armour 2 listing in your Steam library, right click in it and click properties. So Armour 2, right click properties, head across to the betas tab and make sure you have none selected at the top over here. Same for British Armed Forces, Operation Arrowhead, and a private military company at the bottom over here. Then finally, we'll make sure that Daisy mod is not on a beta branch. As such, now with all of that aside, there's one last thing that we want to do before we start up Armor 2 Daisy. Right click on Armor 2 Daisy mod and head across to Properties. Then under the General tab, look for Set Launch Options. Click this and we'll be able to enter some text. In here, you'll want to enter hyphen skip intro as such space hyphen no splash. This gets rid of the intro video when starting up Armour 2 and it'll cause you to have some weird visual glitches on the main menu where you seem to be submerged in water instead of watching an intro video. Then when you're in the game, the no splash option makes sure that nighttime is actually a lot brighter than it usually is. From everywhere that I've seen, these are the two that you should include in your Armour 2 Daisy mod launch options, but of course you can customize this to your heart's content. These two launch options will be in the description down below. I'll hit OK, close, and then play. Now we're launching up the Armour 2 Daisy mod, and in a moment we should be able to find a server and start playing immediately. As you can see, we're submerged underwater instead of watching an intro video. 
All we have to do is make sure that under the expansions menu over here, we only have Armor 2 mods checked. This Daisy mod over here should be unchecked, but as you can see, Armor 2, Operation Arrowhead, Private Military Company, British Armed Forces, Army of the Czech Republic, Daisy mod, all of these are checked. If you have any mods from other sources, including the Steam Workshop, make sure that they are unchecked over here. Then click OK, and you may have to restart Daisy if you actually unchecked one of them. Then we'll go ahead and click Multiplayer at the top, and you shouldn't see anything on your list. In the bottom left, change it from LAN to Internet as such, and then click the Filter tab over here, and it'll be changing max ping to say 500 or something like that. Clicking OK and Refresh will get a full list of servers that are currently running. All of the servers on this list are running the DAISY mod, or at least a DAISY mod that we can join with this client. From here, you'll probably want to sort by ping or sort by players. As such, I'll be joining DAISY Europa 100% vanilla DAISY mod 1.9.0 with 32 out of 40 players. Simply select it and then click join at the very bottom of your screen. Now we're simply loading into the server and it'll be dropped into the DAISY mod as per normal. And there we go. I'll click OK and we're receiving a mission file. There we go. I'll start picking a character and we should be dropped into the world. And there we have it. I'm now playing DayZ. Of course, you can see things look a little bit blurry, but there's a couple of things that we can change. Escape, options, video options. To get rid of the blurriness, you'll probably want to head across to the advanced section over here and set post process to disabled. That should get rid of most of the blurriness. Then 3D resolution, you'll want to raise to 100% or higher. And as you can see, things are immediately looking a lot better. We can of course change texture detail, etc, etc, and customize it to better suit our PC. Anti-aliasing can also cause some blur. And HDR over here may cause scenes to be darker than they actually should be. Unless you have an HDR monitor, simply leave it as normal. After messing with all of the options as you see fit, you can simply hit OK. We're basically done with everything. Now we're playing DayZ. Things are working as per normal. And this is the real authentic experience. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found this video somewhat useful. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.